Yeah. All right, awesome camo work as usual. What's up everyone, it's Matt Rosick, and this will be uh, first builds video of this, uh, my next project on the bench. Just finished up Superman Forever, and this is next. So um, being furloughed means I get to build and paint a lot, because I have to, that's how I make money. Um, so this is the first time I've built this kit, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. This is the Naren uh, quarter scale Wolverine slash Logan. Um, I did a review video on this piece a little while ago, but I figured I'd kind of go over it again since this is the first video of this series. Um, this is for uh, a client. This is not for sale. This has already been sold. This is for the same person I did the Alpha 3 Captain America for. He got a Hellboy. And what else did I just say? Oh, he did, uh, the Naren Airs uh, Azog. So same client uh, getting this piece for me. Uh, so this is a really fantastic kit. Uh, as usual, Naren puts out a great product. Uh, the sculpt is really, really good. The fit on everything is pretty damn perfect. I got a little bit of work to do here and there, but uh, let's go over the kit, what you get when you buy this thing. Um, so this is how it comes. Like this, these are all the parts. Uh, and then you got in here, I've already, like I said, I did a review video of this a few months ago when I first got this piece, and then uh, uh, it, was, it was my kit, and then, um, this particular client was wondering if I had anything. I said, yeah, I got a Wolverine. He's like, yeah, I'll take it. So <laughs> he commissioned me to build it. So this is what you get, all this stuff. So starting from the base, it's really simple. It's just kind of a rock outcropping. And the great thing about this piece is it takes up a small footprint. It's not like the base isn't huge. That's one thing with these quarter scale things, these kits. I love a, a cool base that tells a story, but sometimes they're just so damn big and they're just like, they take up so much room and you know, when you're paying, um, especially these guys are doing all these custom pieces from China, and you buy a piece, and then the shipping is now crazy, crazy high from China. It's like some of these pieces, you're paying more for shipping than you are for the statue. And it's because of the damn bases. The bases are two feet in diameter and weigh 40, 50 pounds just for the base. So it's nice to kind of get a small footprint like this. It doesn't take up a bunch of space. And it's all about the figures, not about what's going on down here. So again, it's just real simply sculpted. Naren always signs all his pieces, uh, every casting, which is kind of cool. It's this typical orange resin that he uses, same on Hellboy, all his pieces. And my only crit about Naren is the resin. I wish he used the better resin because it's just, it, it holds detail well, but it's brittle. Um, so you got to be careful with it. Um, you can still drill it and work it, but compared to other resins, it's pretty brittle. Um, the only thing that I question on this kit is why they cut the legs the way they did and my guess is because either um this isn't a 3d print a 3d sculpt this is a traditional sculpt that's been casted so i don't know why they did that um why would they not just keep this one piece and mold the legs together it's not the end of the world it just creates a little extra work where you gotta fix that seam and the fit's good i mean it's, it should be relatively simple to do um but the sculpt is great i love the boots Great detail on the boots, um, really nice. And then get the jeans going up the waist here. It's got a cool uh, wolf belt buckle, just like that. And he stands just like that. And there's a there's a kind of a flat spot here because Niren always gives you a metal plaque. This one says Wolverine on it, so you can put that there if you want. It's pretty cool. He always gives you one picture of his paint up of his kit right there. You can see that signs the back of the picture. The waist is pretty simple. Hey, oh, and keep it down, buddy. <laughs> the uh, shirt's pretty simple. It's a wife beater, so uh, nothing too crazy there, but it's great muffles of definition, great wrinkles and stuff in the cloth. Um, so just chatting with the client, what we decided to do is I'm going to glue the waist and all the legs together, and I'm going to use magnets for the arms uh, just for shipping purposes, really. Um, I'm not sure if the arm, this arm won't stay in there without uh, some sort of tacky or whatever, blue tack. Great sculpt on the arms, great muscle definition. I like this wolf, this wolf because he's not like totally jacked. It's more human than just crazy, crazy jacked up. So it's really nice. Very subtle detail, like hair sculpted in the arms, which I like. He's not like super hairy. Um, we got this arm over here. Now this, it's weird. It's a weird, it's, it's like weird. Why does this one have this little like locking mechanism in it. Oh, it's because it's got a switch out, and duh. <laughs> and this one um, is like that. So this one will get, the, I'm gonna put magnets in the arms for shipping purposes. 
uh, even this one which is not a switch out and then you have another uh, arm over here another right arm switch out where he's holding a cigar and it's interesting he sculpted the cast of this finger separately I guess that's for molding and casting purposes to make it a little easier so I gotta glue that in fix that seam and then he's holding a cigar so in this with this head and he's got two heads one head he's not smoking and the other one he is smoking so um, basically you put this head on like that with this arm I oh, know that sorry this one goes with this arm and he's holding the cigar or yeah cigar like that and then you can switch out the head and the heads don't even they fit I don't even know I'm going to put a magnet in there. It fits really, really well. Nice and heavy. fits right in there. So I don't even think I need a magnet in there. It the keys in perfectly. Um, and then this one, his head's turned a little bit. And then you would put this arm in. And then you can put the cigar in his mouth. Like that. Now, oh yeah, there are two cigars. Yeah, I thought maybe there's only one cigar. There are two. There's a cigar I didn't show you, but it, he's just holding it in his hand. Uh, like this. So. So yeah. So these arms will get this arm will get these arms will get magnets because they're switch out. Uh, the other arm actually we're gonna magnetize all the arms. We're gonna glue the waist together. Um, heads. I don't know if that has need magnets. They fit in there without. I don't know. Maybe I'll put them in there. I'll decide that later. Um, what else? Oh, another cool thing about this. And then the claws are sculpted really nicely. So these will paint up very nicely. I'll polish them up. Make them look like metal. Um, the other cool thing that he does is he includes a base for the, uh, for the head that's not being used. So. Right there. So you get a little stand for the head. That's nice. I wish more pe companies did that. So you get a. That's my thing about switch outs. Like when you have five heads, what do you do with the other four heads when you're not when it's not on the statue? You gotta. I see people with just shelves and shelves of switch outs. Like that's, that, that would annoy the ever loving crap out of me. So maybe you have two heads and then you have a stand for it. But who needs five or six heads? I don't get it. That's just my gripe on switch outs. But great, really great piece. Uh, let's see how tall he is. Good size. Um, so on this one, he's right at 22 and a half inches. That's the top of this point of hair, and this should be relatively the same. Maybe this one's just a hair shorter because his hair's not so pointy. He's not 100% like turned into Wolverine here. No, right about the same, 22 and a half inches. And then the base, the base itself is only, let's see. Seven inches deep and ten inches wide. So great size footprint. No, oh, you didn't see me. I, I measured his height. <laughs> you didn't see that. About twenty-two and a half inches tall, ten inches wide, seven inches deep. And then if you you know if you consider the extra stand, depending on where you put it, and how much space you need. But a great piece. So that's just the intro video. And then uh, today I'm going to work on um, I'll do I'll do video number two also. Just so this isn't crazy, crazy long like they usually are. Uh, today's goal is to um, pin and epoxy the legs together, fix that seam, and then um, I'm not going to glue the waist on until after painting. So, but I'll pin it, and then um, I think I need to go get more magnets. Hopefully, yeah, I'm at, I got a few in here. Do I have enough? I don't know if I do. I need, I need uh, two. Four, no, one, two, three, I need five magnets. And I've got six. I might have enough. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so I like to use these big ones, these big uh, half inch in diameter. These are a little thinner, but um, they should be plenty strong enough to hold this arm on. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the magnet up here. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. So there you go. That's the intro video to uh, the Nairn quarter scale Wolverine kit. 
in video number two we'll be kind of building it so today's goal is to kind of get them built and then tomorrow um i won't be able to do any priming until tomorrow because i gotta wait for some stuff to dry i think but if i can get them in primer today that's great then i can start painting tomorrow so today's goal is to get them built and prepped we'll see if we get that done so stay tuned for video number two in a little bit